Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today we are making three margarita... No, these are not margaritas. Today we are making three tequila drinks that aren't margaritas. These are classics, although I tweak them a little bit. It's gonna be a relatively quick video, so pay attention. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go make three tequila cocktails to the bar. Today's video is sponsored by Visky. Visky makes everything you could possibly need behind your bar, except for the booze. You're in charge of that. You'll find barware, wine tools, ice molds, and tons of glassware. They've got it all. I've been using their products for a long time, and I'm excited to talk to you today about them. So, today I want to show you a couple of their glasses, just in time for that upcoming Cinco de Mayo party you've been planning. We've got the margarita glass, the double old-fashioned glass, and the mezcal glass, which I think is pretty cool. I like this glass a lot because it looks like it's designed after the traditional copita, which is how you would traditionally drink mezcal. Although I think the traditional mezcal glasses were made out of gourds. These aren't gourds. And the double old-fashioned glasses. These are great. You can use these for so many cocktails. They look good, they are versatile, and they are stackable. And then of course the margarita glass. You know you're in for a good time when this glass comes out. So whether you're planning on enjoying your margaritas frozen, on the rocks, or simply enjoying your favorite agave spirit neat, there is a glass for you at Visky. And if you use the code Anders15 at checkout, you'll receive 15% off site-wide. Thank you, Visky. Back to the film. Number one, the Mexican Firing Squad. This is a tasty drink, refreshing, bold, and easy to make. Now, it's common to serve this in a highball with a little bit of soda water, but I like the original recipe from the 1930s the best. To make this drink in a shaking tin, start with one and a half ounces of tequila, three quarters of an ounce of a good quality grenadine, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, three to four dashes of Angostura bitters. If you have a small dasher bottle, double that, so six to eight dashes. Give it a shake, about five to 10 seconds. Double strain onto a big rock in a chill glass, or regular rocks is fine and garnish with a lime wheel. The Mexican Firing Squad. Cheers. Ooh. Zingy. It's tart from the lime and grenadine. This is a Reposado tequila, which is a little bit softer. So if you want a bigger tequila flavor, use a Blanco tequila or silver tequila. The grenadine is very important. Don't use the crappy stuff. Make your own if you are so inclined. Otherwise, be sure to get good quality grenadine. It's gonna really show in this drink. Great start. On to number two, the Toreador. The Toreador dates back to 1937 in the Cafe Royal cocktail book. Now this drink predates the margarita, but it's very similar. Instead of an orange liqueur, you have an apricot liqueur. In the recipe book, you can use lemon or lime. I personally like the lemon against the apricot, and I do a little tweak by adding a touch of something special. So, once again, in a shaking tin, start with one and a half ounces of Reposado tequila. To that, add three quarters of an ounce of apricot liqueur, half an ounce of fresh lemon juice, and quarter of an ounce of an Amontillado sherry. This is gonna be really nice on the finish. Also, I like to add one bar spoon of a light agave nectar. Add ice and shake, double strain into a chilled coupe, no garnish necessary, and you have the Toreador. Cheers. Mm. Lighter than the Firing Squad. The apricot really comes out. The agave nectar gives it a little bit of weight. And then my favorite part is the sherry. If you've been making my original cocktails, you might know that I like sherry in my drinks. And this is no exception. Sherry, tequila go really well together. Sherry and apricot go really well together. Sherry and citrus go really well together. It's delicious. Now, on to the third and final tequila cocktail. Number three, the Matador. Now there are two different Matador cocktails out there. The original dates back to the Cafe Royal cocktail book, just like the Toreador. However, the one that's more popular was created many years later by Trader Vic. Two completely different cocktails, both tequila based, and I thought it would be fun to mash them together because the flavors on paper look like they would work well together, and they do. So to make my version of the Matador, start in a shaking tin with three quarters of an ounce of a Reposado tequila. To that, add three quarters of an ounce of a Blanc Vermouth three quarters of an ounce of curacao. I would recommend a richer curacao. I'm using Marie Brazard here, but if you wanted to use a triple sec, then I would suggest adding a little bit of simple syrup or agave nectar to balance it out. Then add half an ounce of fresh lime juice, one ounce of fresh pineapple juice, and one dash of Angostura bitters. Again, if you have the smaller dasher bottle, two small dashes. Add ice and shake, strain it off into a chilled glass, whatever looks nice. Garnish with a pineapple wedge, and there we have the Matador. Cheers. Ooh, that might be my favorite. Kind of pineapple-y, little tropical-y. You know, it's the mashup of the, the two cocktails, and I like that Blanc Vermouth. You could use a dry vermouth as well, but I do like the uh, the Blanc Vermouth. It's a, it's a touch richer, 
and you get that nice finish on the end. The Angostura bitters was not called for in either of the recipes, but that's my addition because the clove notes in the bitters goes really well with the pineapple. So there it is, three tequila drinks for you for fun that aren't margaritas. Now, if you do want a margarita, I would recommend checking out our video on five margaritas. So go do that. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you tried these cocktails. Thank you, Visky, for sponsoring. Thank you for watching. Don't forget your merch. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.